So we're going to solve these three equations. And a hint here is the very first thing that you're going to want to do is use addition or subtraction to move the letters to one side, numbers to the other side. So I'm going to highlight numbers and letters, what I mean by that. So starting in this first one, the 8W, those are letters. The number 30, that'd be a number. And then 3W, that's a letter. So one way of thinking of it, instead of letters on one side, numbers on the other, let's think of it as blue on one side, green on the other. Now the fastest way to get the blues on the same side and the greens on the other side would be to move this blue one over there. So if I'm going to move it one more time, we're gonna use addition and subtraction to move these things. So to get rid of adding 3W, I'm going to subtract 3W. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I'm going to do to the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so then let's go ahead and simplify. 8Ws minus 3Ws is going to give me 5W. I'm going to bring down the equal sign. And then on the right side, we just move the Ws over, so 3W. Um, is gone, and all I have left on the right side is the number 30. So notice we used addition or subtraction to move the letters to one side, numbers to the other. And then lastly, we want to keep getting the W by itself, and the opposite of multiply by 5 is to divide by 5. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So the W is going to be by itself. Bring down the equal sign and 30 divided by five is six. Okay, so let's look at two more. I'm gonna color code this one again. Four Y is a letter, 14 is a number, and negative three Y is a letter. So letters on one side, numbers on the other is the same thing as saying blues on one side, greens on the other. The quickest way to move the blues to the same side would be to move this one over here. And we're, we're moving, we're gonna use addition and subtraction. So to get rid of minus three Y, I'm gonna add three Y. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I'm gonna do to the other. Now let's go ahead and simplify that. Four Y's plus three Y's, we now have 7y. I'm going to bring down the equal sign. This 3y got rid of negative 3y, so on the right side all I have left is the 14. So now that I have letters on one side, numbers on the other, I'm asking myself what is preventing the y from being by itself, and it's the number 7. Since they're side by side, that's multiplication. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So to get rid of times seven, I'm gonna divide by seven. What I do to one side, I do to the other. And then this seven got rid of this seven, so y is by itself. I'm gonna bring down the equal sign. And 14 divided by seven is two. Okay, so let's do just one more example here for this one. Let's emphasize which ones are letters and which ones are numbers. So the 7U and the 14U, those are my letters. The 49, that's my number. So if I wanna move letters to one side, numbers to the other, the fastest way to move the letters to the same side or the blues to the same side is to move the 7Us to the right. It's a positive 7U so to get rid of that, I'm going to subtract 7u. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I'm gonna to do to the other. Okay, so what's left over on the left side? This 7u got rid of that 7u, so I'm still gonna have 49. Let's bring down the equal sign. And 14u's minus 7u's is 7u's. Okay, lastly, we're asking ourselves, what is preventing the U from being by itself? And that is the times seven. And I know it's multiplication because a number next to a letter is multiplication. 
So to undo multiplication, we want to divide. So I'm going to divide by 7. What I do to one side, I do to the other. Okay, so this 7 gets rid of this 7. So u is by itself. I'm going to bring down the equal sign. And 49 divided by 7 is 7. Okay, so to summarize what we have here is you want to use addition and subtraction to move letters to one side, numbers to the other. And after you've done that, then you're going to need to get rid of the number next to the letter by dividing by it.